Let's talk about composers because you then work with a range of musical styles. Um, I can only relate to as a, someone in the theater, there's a range of writers, you know, from the classic writers, uh, Moliere and Shakespeare, down to the modern writers, Brad Fraser, et cetera, et cetera. And we have to deal with different kinds of writing. Is that true with composers that you work with? Uh, well, you don't work with them, but you work with their scores. Yeah, you don't often work with the actual composers I have. But there you have a, a Sondheim, and there you have a, you know, the whole range of it. Does one kind of music uh, fit you better than another kind sure. of music? Sure, sure, sure. Um, although you should be able to kind of run the gamut, but some sort of air more on the classical side, say. And that's where you probably wouldn't hire me. Uh, to play that role. There's also the matter of range. I find so often the ones that air more on the classical side, it tends to, everything tends to be high and that's not me, you know? But yeah, for sure. Technically, what, what are you? I'm an alto. Oh my God, I'm an alto. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's just birth. I do, this is my ignorance about voice. That's just your system. That's yeah. your chords, that's you, got nothing to do with training. Yeah, well, your voice is your voice. I mean, right. you can train to, go lower a bit <coughs> and higher for sure you work on your range but yeah right. if you're if you're a tenor you're a tenor you're never going to be a bass you know i mean that's just the way it is and have you ever worked with a composer um when something is being created or is always here's the score away we go uh well les mis when we did it in montreal it was the first time they were doing that big cameron mcintosh version in french so the composers were there all through that because a lot of new lyrics were right. being done so it was the first time they were hearing their whole show in French and, and that was pretty special. How much musical adjustment was going on because it was French and not English text? Text-wise? Yeah. Uh, I mean as a I rule... I mean the notes, right? The, the notes, the bars. Oh no, that's were, the same. That's done. So how so do you... So it can't be exactly the same yeah. word-wise because my god, you. but they stuck pretty damn close to the song would still say basically the same thing. But, but for instance, uh, the song that Fantine sang had a verse at the beginning, you know, there was a time when men were kind, when their voices were soft, when their words inviting. There was a time, but it all went wrong. In French, it was, du Seigneur, que vous ai je fait? Dear God, what have I done to you? That I should fall and you should keep letting me fall. So, oh my God. So it was more a prayer to God as opposed to there was a time in the world. But then the rest of the song was sticking quite close to. And why was that what switch was. made? Well, I don't know. Because you're trying to fit, it's not easy translating. Right. I've done some translating of songs. You have to not try and say exactly the same thing. It's just not going to happen because there's no way to make it scan. And so you have to go for the feeling. The, the, with different images, maybe. And a French, yeah. The French, the French person would say, God, what have I done to you? Maybe the English person would say, the world, what's happened to the world? What, you know? It's interesting. And therein lies the divide. So cool. Therein lies the two solitudes. And then there was the whole thing about singing that show in both languages, uh, can I just say, to Please. vocally, technically, um, was an interesting thing. Same cast, we learned the whole show in English, we learned the whole show in French. Did five French shows a week, three English. When you go from English to, English is a very open, direct, A, I, E, O, U. In French you have all those diphthongs. A, A, E, O, my God, O. You try and project on those. It is not easy. It's a very different feeling. Very different feeling to sing an entire show. That was quite an exercise. Cool. How much of that cast that had a bilingual show that was French or English? We you're, were all French. You were all I was born French. Everyone, everyone was born Francophone. Yeah, I was the only one who was brought to Montreal. They right. were all from there. So there were no Anglo's in that show who sang there both. There were no Anglo's in that show, but a lot of those people spoke English. Right. Some of them, not a heck of a lot. So they right. kind of learned you know, by rote. And emotionally, what's it like to sing in English? Because I, I don't know anyone else who 
has been in both worlds. Do you know what? I have a friend. I have a girlfriend, Louise is her name. And she always says to me, when you sing in French, there's just something a little deeper. And I mean, I'm French. That's yeah. where I come from. It's as though there's a little extra piece of something. Yeah, because that's, that's your mother tongue. That's where you come from. It's, yeah, I can see why she says that. I don't feel that necessarily when I'm doing a whole concert in English, but then I'll do a song in French and I'll think, hmm, I'll do a Brel song, Ne me quitte pas or something, and I go, okay, yeah, I guess there is, there is a difference. I have a performer here, a wonderful singer, who sings the same song in English, <coughs> and then she will sing a French version of it. What <clears> happens <throat> inside when you mm. are in, you're in two different identities, can you describe them to me? Well, but I, I don't know, no, I mean, I, I can't say that it's that huge a difference, I can't. I'm still an actor on stage delivering a song in a piece of theater, you know. It's not feeling like a whole other world, I think because it's in my mother tongue, yes, there is right. that little bit of difference. And these writers are French too, which kind of made it even more, their words, oh my God, the lyrics were so beautiful. The death scene was that much more <laughs> deeply meaningful to me somehow. The words are French, the composer was English. No. Who was the composer? Schoenberg. Claude Michel Chandel. Oh, I didn't know that. Famous, yeah. Okay. Anne Boublil. Kretzmer came in to do some English lyrics, added to right. some English lyrics, uh, but no, they're both French, yeah, yeah.